Uh, good day, everyone. Uh, thanks for joining me. My name's Nichols, and welcome to the show. Understand that many things that are uncomfortable are actually not high consequence. So the vast majority of administrative jobs do not carry high consequence. And so high consequence, I'm thinking of things like police officer, firefighter, medical, doctor, that sort of thing. But most of us in our day-to-day -day lives just don't deal with that level of consequence. And it's really important to understand that because we can still feel that extreme discomfort that comes from imperfection, even when it's a low consequence thing. So we have to get around that intuition to care deeply about the outcome of these low consequence situations and instead keep following that ideal of, about being self-transformation through failure and, and essentially through failure and then correction of those mistakes and that whole idea of evolving every day in a kind of metaphorical death and rebirth rather than worrying about making sure that everything is exactly correct, you're simply giving your all every single day in a period of transformation and encouraging yourself and, and others to become the best version of themselves in this low consequence, continual failure environment that most of us live in. So life is always about the idea of learning and self-transformation in the face of your mistakes and essentially a death and metaphorical, metaphorical death and rebirth, but it's even easier and more important to understand that when you're in a, an area of low consequence, it is easier to do that, to really focus on that process of, of self-transformation. The way we maintain our context and make sure that we can do that is seek out information about more high consequence lives. So learning about people who are in those high consequence jobs, doing things that are high consequence in our personal life, such as say rock climbing or martial arts or adventuring of some kind, where we are making decisions in our own controlled personal lives that do have high consequence because they're physically dangerous in some situations. And if we do these two things, therefore we learn about people who live in high consequence professions and also spend time doing things that are a bit more high consequence in our personal life, these essentially reset our hedonistic set point. And so we are, by resetting the hedonistic set point, we are more prepared to deal with our day-to-day -day lives of low consequence things or multiple low consequence problems with more effectiveness and more pragmatism, I dare say, with a more relaxing and effective mindset. All right, well, thanks for listening, guys. Appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.